Hi. Well, what I've got out here on the table today is kind of a unique little gun. Now, at first glance, you'd probably think that this is just a a two-inch barreled Smith & Wesson Model 15 Combat Masterpiece with some fancy grips and a grip adapter. But this is actually a custom gun that's kind of been built from the frame up. A dual trigger and hammer. Uh, the grips themselves are, I believe they're they're not real black pearl, but they are pretty good to imitation. The grip adapter uh, makes uh, the grip a lot more comfortable for people. Say it's got medium sized hands like me, where the the service grips are kind of small for me, and the full target grips are kind of big. But uh, something that makes this gun very unusual, if you look at the back of the cylinder here, you notice that doesn't quite look right for a Model 15. And this here makes it look very unusual for a Model 15. Notice the recessed chambers. Smith & Wesson 38s didn't have recessed chambers. Because this is actually fitted with a, a cylinder out of a Model 19 357 Magnum. And it's been fitted with a 2 inch barrel off of a regular uh, Model 15. But the forcing cone has been cut and modified to make it, accept, uh, make it safe with uh, 357 loads. Now the Model 15 38 Special and the Model 19 uh, 357 Magnums used the same frame. But the big differences were in the cylinder and the forcing cones on them. And like I said, this one has been modified to be, to, essentially to be a Model 15 and 357 Magnum. But I don't expect that I'll be shooting 357s in it very often. It has had 357s fired through it. But one of the big differences in this gun is the action on it. The action is just smooth as glass on this thing. Very light single action trigger. The double action uh, trigger on it is, it's ever bit as smooth as a Colt Python, one of the old Colt Pythons. Might be just a touch heavier on the, on the action, but ever bit as smooth. Now the guy that built this gun is a local gunsmith. who is very good at uh, working over Smith & Wesson revolvers. Name's Josh uh, Davenport, runs Soap Creek Armory. And I'll put a link to his uh, contact information and his uh, website in the description of the video. If anybody needs uh, work done on a Smith & Wesson, or even some custom work like this, he's a very good guy to have do it. But anyway, I thought I'd give you a quick look at this thing and tell you about it a little bit. You'll see this show up in a shooting video in the not-too-distant future. Well, thanks for watching.